All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have Johnny Orlando here with a fun song to play, very fun. It's called Wait For You, all right? So we're gonna start this one with a capo on the first fret. That is the easiest scenario. And with that, we have a couple of chords, I believe four different. So let's take a look at the chords. And it's actually famous for, we're gonna go for C, D, E minor, and G. All right, so. We're gonna start with C. That is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. We have D. So that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. And we have E minor. We're gonna go with an added note here. Uh, absolutely for the verse play and you can choose to add that note as well on the course and the E minor looks like this uh, standard we're gonna add a third fret E string that gives us open E second A second D open G open B and third E uh, in the course later when you play the E minor you can choose to keep that third E or go with it open all right so that is the E minor and then we have G left here and G you can play like this for standard and you can play that for the course. I'm going to show you an alternative here soon, but first this G here, it's third on E, second on A, open D, open G, open B and third E. That is what you're going to play for the course, but for the verse play, you need to go over to this position. It looks hard, but it's actually not. It flows very well from the chords right before that, this G here. So what you do here is to play fifth on the D string, seventh on G. You can keep the B open and seventh on the E. Right, so this is the G version in the verse play. You're gonna use this one and this one in the chorus. All right, so there we have the chords for the song. Now let's start with the, the verse play. We have two different uh, um, playings here, the verse and then the chorus. So first the verse, we're gonna go C, D, E minor, then this G and back to D. Okay, so for C, you're gonna play down, up, down. The note you wanna emphasize here is the open E string. And we have notes we wanna emphasize, that's the reason for having the G up at this position. We want the high notes up here, all right? So for all these chords here in the verse play, you have notes you want to highlight. So for C now, you have the open E string. So make sure you do the downs and ups there at the bottom down here on higher notes. So for C, you're gonna play down, up, down. Then you go over to D. Now to highlight the note is on the second fret E string, this one, all right? You're gonna play up, down, up for D. So together, C and D, it's down, up, down, then up, down, up. And then you end on G, sorry, E minor for a while. You're gonna play down, up for four times. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And here you have the added note on the third fret E string this one okay so down up down up down up down up okay so that's the first half of the verse so down up 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 then you slide up here to this position the G and it's uh, actually very convenient to do that. 
Uh, what I do is I really focus on my little pinky there. I use a little pinky to get the third fret E string on the E minor. I really focus on that one to get up to this position. I just slide with it to the seventh fret on E string and everything else pretty much falls uh, on place there naturally. For me, for instance, I just go like this. I release the two fingers here for E minor and I'm aiming for this position here so like this okay perhaps you have to practice that a little bit but it makes a lot in this song to get this g here right anyway you're gonna stay on this position and play three down ups down up down up down up and here you want to emphasize that note okay that's the reason for being up here is the seventh fret uh, e string so three down ups there, and then you go back to the standard D and play four down ups here. And again, this D is the second fret E string here. You want to emphasize. So the melody here with all the emphasized notes, I can just mention this is the uh, end here of the verse. The melody goes. Yeah, something like that, all right. Uh, perhaps I missed a uh, fret or so, but I, th I think you understand here how it goes. I'm gonna take you through this slowly, try to do that. It's always hard to do something that goes fast slow, but we'll try and uh, just to educate you and show you how it's done. So let's start from C. Something like that in tempo. there anyway let's go over to chorus now the chords now you don't have to emphasize any notes you can keep the chords uh, and the notes at if you wish I would not do that if I were you I just go with the standard E minor C G and D all right so you're just gonna play down the ups now so it has a certain rhythm here so think pair of chords we're gonna look at the E minor to C and then you have G to D okay that's the Corporation E minor C G and D. So you're gonna play E minor three down ups. Okay, so down up times three, uh, and then you switch next chord, which is the C, and you play four down ups plus an extra down and a short pause. So that is the first half, and then you apply the same principle here for the next two chords. The G is played in the same way as E minor down up time th times three and then d in the same way as you play the c down up times four plus an extra down and the pause i'm going to show you how that goes slowly so you understand with the extra down and pause so let's look at e minor to c that's the first two chords so e minor Okay, and then you just continue with uh, C to D, sorry, G to D. And a pause there, short pause, and then it starts again for next chord. So it goes pretty fast, this one. It's always hard, like I mentioned, to go slow. I'm gonna show you in tempo how it sounds and how it goes, and then you have to put it on your own together on your own and then try to match the, the tempo here. So starting with E minor and go for a couple of rounds.
yeah that was to take down the tempo gradually uh, yeah i hope you understand that and that pretty much is the course and all the parts the bursting course you need to handle johnny orlando's weight for you hope this was educational guys and i really appreciate your support so show me some love back and hope to see you here very soon till next time play tuned